What's up guys, Sam and back and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive TMNT Secret of the Ooze Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello. Now if you guys didn't pre-order the VHS specials exclusives, now you can get them in the two pack form. I got them all in the four pack for the um, exclusive pre-orders and I'm going to keep those in box. These ones are going to be openers. Now they did raise the prices on these because now these are with tax and everything, if you get both sets, it's about $128. So it's going to take a big chunk out of your wallet. Looking at the packaging. So you got the uh, Secret of the Ooze style packaging. You got Raphael and Leonardo here. The open window. You can see some of the accessories. And you got the, the movie poster right there. I always love this. This always brings back memories. On the side, it's got Raphael. On the other side, it's got Leo. And then on the back, you have the figures. And you have this little like film reel and you know different ways you can pose the figures and whatnot so the packaging on this is very attractive i absolutely love the colors on this too um, over here we have donnie and mikey the head sculpts on these look really good you probably can't see it because the glare but packaging there's the back love the packaging guys if you guys are a mint on card collectors you're definitely gonna love them either way but we're gonna open these up guys and we're gonna see if they're pickups if they're passes and if you need to get them if you already have the other other previous movie figures we'll go ahead and do some some com comparison okay so for the insert this is it right here you get the new york sewers and you can see the train the subway train this is actually going to be a real nice piece for for photography we'll look at the accessories that come with leo and Raphael. so for Raphael, you do get these interchangeable hands and these ones are like for the size and then you also get for i mean you can probably mix and match these if you really wanted to but this is the ones that come with donnie but again you can mix and match you get several pizzas so you have this one here and this one does have a hole through the pizza i'll get to that in the in a second you got the cheese dripping you have this one which looks like it has some anchovies on it <laughs> this one's cool because it's kind of half eaten and then oh you got two of them that are kind of like half eaten now you can also put this like in a side you guys remember Raphael did that when the, when they were in april's apartment and he throws the uh, pizza to Raphael and he catches it with a side just like that <laughs> Touchdown! Yeah! We have the side here, and this one does look a lot different compared to the previous ones. It's got the black strap, and then you have the blade here, which isn't sharp at all. You also get another TGRI can. I mean, we have so many of these already. It would be cool if you can at least open these, or if it just had a little light-up feature. Uh, Leo, he does come with his katana blade. So you can see the bottom. The blade itself looks really good, so you obviously get two of these bad boys just careful with these they don't break because they do seem a little bit on the fragile side so we have Raphael right here and this guy looks incredible I absolutely love the look on him I mean the, the turtles in the movie did look a lot different and I mean the nostalgia for the original playmates with the spots on them and the rubbery feel that that's what I loved about him the most what I loved about the secret of the ooze figures from the OG ones and this one has kind of that look to it and you can see, I mean, it's a it's a kind of different color shading compared to the the previous ones. And you got some spots on there. You got the toes, the the knee um, the knee bands right here, and then or knee pads. You got the elbow pads here. You got the belt, the shell. There's a side view, and you can see the spots. Here's the back. There's the bottom, and then the shell here. The really cool detailing, and then the size you can put right here in the front. He does have a slot that you can just place them right in there like so and then you can also put this bad boy right in his hand and the head sculpt looks really good you can see there is a layer between the mouth and the teeth the eyes look cool the bandana is kind of going down to the front and i like that these aren't i don't know if these are detachable because remember the other ones you can detach them and display different bandanas or at least the end of it i'm glad this one doesn't have that but this is a really cool looking figure. So all the articulation of the figures are going to be the same. So we'll go over this really quick. Legs go in and out, forward and back. He does have uh, double jointed knees. Some upper leg rotation. Looks like the lower leg can rotate. He's got the whole ankle pivot. Arms do go, eh, kind of seem like they go in and out, forward and back. Double jointed elbows, lower arm rotation, hand rotation, a hinge in the hand. Um, you, obviously you can't really do waist rotation or an ab crunch the head goes up and down you can rotate it and tilt it side to side 
And to me, it kind of seems a little different here because it seems like there's an opening more so with the front part of the shell and the actual chest area. We'll do a comparison later in the video um, with the originals. And then we have Leonardo right here. And I absolutely love the head sculpt on this guy. And then again, you can see all the spots on him right there. On the back, you have the sheaths for his katana sword so we'll just place one in there. actually we'll just place both of them in there just so you guys can see what that looks like and trying to see if the shading on these guys is different and honestly they look the same there is no real color difference in the turtles uh, but the figure itself looks really cool i'm absolutely loving the head sculpts and again he's got the bandana going down to the front no real difference other than the little strap that goes over the shoulder for leo but there's both Raphael and Leonardo and the accessories. All right, guys. So for Mikey and Donnie, these are some of the interchangeable hands that you get. So you get a thumbs up. You also you get actually another one that's like similar to thumbs up. And then you also get one like this too. So those are the little interchangeable hands. You do get some of the same pizza accessories. You get two of the half-eaten pizzas. You also get a whole pizza with anchovies on it. You get this little like bat that donnie uses in the beginning of the film when they're in there when they're inside of that toy store you get a clear i think this might be the first one of these right am i wrong a tgri canister this is a clear one so that's pretty cool for mikey you get the uh links as nunchucks that he uses in the film i doubt i'm gonna be using these at all but what does he say cold cuts or something the missing link that's what he says in there so you get these right here and then you also get his nunchucks of course you do need his nunchucks well actually they do have a little bit of like shading on them or paint apps to them and then we also get donnie's bow staff hopefully you guys can see that so that is pretty nice and then you get a like a, a forearm piece i'm not sure exactly what that's for you guys can let me know in the comments down below but you get an additional forearm piece. Now, taking a look at Mikey. So this guy right here, he does have the nunchucks, the, the holsters for them on the sides. So you can see he's got a little like holster right there. The belt, there's the back. You have the head sculpt, a lot happier. I mean, the, the likenesses on these figures, guys, when you see them in person, I'm not even lying with you. They look like they're straight out of the movies. And the eyes, I mean, they did such a good job on the eye sculpts for these guys, man. They look so cool. Bandana's going down. You got all the spots on there. These figures came out beautifully. So there is Mikey looking really, really cool. The open mouth. And then we have Donnie. Now, Donnie does some real weird facial expressions in the film. Um, I, for, I th I'm not sure which one the, uh, the accessory pack comes with, but I think this is the face that he does when he dresses as that like little, when he goes, mm -hmm. you guys know what I'm talking about. I think that's the facial expression, but I could be wrong. Um, looks like they all have the bandanas kind of going forward, but this looks just like Donnie from the film, man. I mean, they got the eyes, the head sculpt looks so cool. I love that smile. You got the uh, strap here. There's the back of the shell. He does have like a string little holster for his bow staff so you can slide that through there actually you know what let me go ahead and try that actually sits there really good i was looking at it, i was like i don't think this is going to work it actually works really nice okay so right here you have the comparison with the original first tmnt donnie and then the one on the right is the new one i'm not going to lie i mean they both look like they're turtles from their respective movies and there is a difference in the paint apps i'm not sure if the molds are new i mean you guys can let me know in the comments down below as far as like the articulation and everything but the paint apps is definitely different and the way their holsters and everything go on is different too so i'll turn this around oh this one had the rope uh, little stringy things too i didn't even realize that but the shells are different too you can see the shells are painted differently and of course the uh, secret of the ooze ones has the spots all over them but i mean both look great so if you missed out on the first ones and you can't find them, at least you'll get the second ones. But you definitely need the first ones to the first series, you know, so you can have that first movie. Okay, so for Mikey, you can definitely see the difference. I'm not going to lie. The Secret of the Ooze one is 10 times better. Um, the paint apps are obviously different. And I, I, what can I say? The Secret of the Ooze one's definitely 
definitely is 10 times better than the first one. Overall look is so much better. And I like, I actually do like that he has the holsters on the side of him. It, it looks a lot better. It looks a lot cooler, to be honest with you. And then we come to the back and um, you can see the shell differences. I actually like the shell design for the, the first movie, but it does look like the, the nunchucks are pretty much the same as the first release with the secret of the use totally forgot to do the uh comparison well at least the voiceover for the raphael and the original uh raphael from the first movie but here's a little quick little comparison for the two all right guys and here we have a comparison with leah nardo this one right here, you can definitely see the difference between the first film and the second film. And this is such a fantastic figure, too. These figures are so cool at posing. I mean, I suck at posing, but if you, I'm, I'm seeing so many pictures of people posing their, their neck at TMNTs. Um, I've done some cool posing in the past. And, I mean, these figures just came out so beautiful. But here's a back shot here of both Leonardo's. And you can definitely see the difference. I, I do like the sheaths more on the first movie, but I like the shell better on The Secret of the Ooze. But there is a little bit of a comparison or a comparison with the first film and Secret of the Ooze. And here you go, guys. Here is all of the NECA TMNT figures. I mean, I have various Super Shredders, but I'm not going to put them all off for the picture. But this is all of them together, guys. We're going to get the regular Shredder later. I don't know whatever happened to the Kino. And I'm wondering if we're going to get April O'Neil from the second one, too. We got to get a Splinter. That's for sure. I would love to get the Doctor. And, I, I mean, there's still other characters I would love to see done. Vanilla Ice. I think he was teased. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I wish these sets did come with some interchangeable head sculpts rather than having to get an accessory set. But it's... It's whatever. I mean, it's cool. These figures are fantastic. Definitely pickups, guys. I don't even want to say pickup or pass. They're a pickup. And when you put them alongside all of the villains, they just look that much more badass. And these figures are fantastic. I just wish that some of the accessories were a little bit different. But let me know your thoughts down below, guys. If this is a pickup, is it a pass? We will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Or actually, you know what? Before we end this, let me know what you think these figures should have included. What else they should have came with. But I hope you guys are able to track these down. We'll see you soon. Later. It's Raph. Yeah, a little too rough. You guys. <laughs>